Hello and welcome to Let's Try We're Trying Control Alt Ego. Uh, I am probably going to do a full playthrough of this for uh, stream, so you can catch that at some point. I'll be sure to let you know. But um, I wanted to do a, a, a Let's Try because um, I want to do like a proper service for this game. I haven't really officially or like, you know, quotation marks professionally covered too many um, immersive sims for the channel so i would like this to be the one um this you know for at least for a start i think that this game is already going to be a, a good one to start with um i've been hearing endless good things about this game and uh, the devs seem really really cool they hooked me up with a key and i really appreciate that thank you so much for that and um i'm, I'm grateful to be able to, to to play this so without further um let's uh, further further deep you know Let's let's do it. Let's let's jump into it. You know, words are hard sometimes. Start new campaign missions. If you're not sure what an immersive sim is, if you're uh oh I see. I thought it was loading. For some reason, I, I, I thought it was loading. Okay, HUD, show insights. Sure. Let's let's leave everything as it is for now. Your ego is rudely crammed inside physics driven robots. The most characterful option but may take some getting used to yes i like i like getting used to moderate yes that sounds good start starting your simulated immersive experience uh yeah if you're not sure what an immersive sim is um i don't necessarily blame you um but basically hold on i don't want to interrupt the uh Um, you can basically describe an immersive sim as a uh, linear single player uh, sandbox experience, generally with a stealth as an option um, and with potential like, you know, action gunplay as an option as well. Um, you know, they, it's not limited to that as well. Like there have been interesting games that have been kind of attributed to the immersive sims uh, games like uh, Rain World, which is an interesting idea. Um, I, I guess I, I would agree with that. Rain World is an immersive sim. I, pl I recently played Prey on uh, my channel, and that was interesting. Plastic Supply Crate. Funny. I like that. So we are a robot. We can see ourselves. Um, can't really move too well right now. Grabber. Hold. Oh, okay. We're grabbing stuff. We're grabbing stuff with our grabber. I saw um, something that instantly kind of... Uh, like endeared me to this game as I saw people um, kind of describing it or comparing it to Red Dwarf, which is a, a series that I am I have a, a fondness for. I, I appreciate me some some Red Dwarf. This is too heavy. We can't grab it. Can't grab that either. Okay, so some crates are heavy. You can't grab them. Gun. Conveyor module. Can we move up this? Yes, we can. What is this? Battery. Oh, I just noticed, by the way. Um, yay, thank you. Thank you, Dev. Appreciate you, bud. Battery grabber. Hold, grab. E, take, gain energy. We have energy. Okay, we have more energy. I can't stand like using non-inverted for even a moment gets me like really messed up and then basically neither makes sense to me. So what is this? This looks like something we should be able to interact with. Vent cover. All right. It says gun. Can we grab these? We can. Maybe we can um, stack these. Hold on, this is this is not stack lands. Okay, we can we can go up. Hopefully. We can whoa grab that as well. There's no jump. It's very um it's very like disconcerting not having jump. Not saying it's a bad thing at all. Drink the juice. Okay. We are drinking that juice. Oil, use, gain juice. It's juice! a big 
lump with knobs it's got the juice okay um so we have shoot now we do have shoot whoa okay that feels pretty cool i like that something very funny to me about the design of this robot like i just imagine this like in fact you can see you can see my silhouette just like a tin can holding the gun just straight forward i have gun do not uh do not cross me human flesh bag okay uh gain some more juice we got the juice so can we destroy these crates we can blow them off oh we did destroy it okay well um let's i, I just want my grabber for now because we can grab oh these are heavy no we can't grab them okay and we can nice already a better inventory system than prey i'm sorry prey enjoyers of prey i uh struggled with that game i must say we got some stuff so you get stuff from cans maybe i should be blowing up all of the things that's a pretty interesting way for a can to destroy health so battery is health okay good to know I'm interested in these. I know that they they're to do with the uh, the actual like core gimmick of this game. This game's got a very interesting gimmick, which I'm very interested in. I mean, uh, you know, hot take. I'm interested in interesting gimmicks. Oh God! Sneak or shoot? Can we? I was gonna say, can we lean? How would one sneak? Can we grab this? Hmm. Okay. Not sure how... How would you sneak by this thing? I'm a little curious about that. So let's just... Let's just blow it up. Ow. What the heck is going on? I'm like sideways. Oh, was I like walking on this battery? We have vending machine. What's happening? I'm like sideways right now. It's very strange. Okay, we got the juice. That's the important part. More juice. Very important in every immersive sim to have lockers that you can search. I've noticed that, you know? If you don't have lockers, it's not an immersive sim. I'm sorry, Rain World isn't an immersive sim. There's no lockers. I mean, maybe there are actually. I didn't make it all that far in rain world it's a game i i do want to play more of um it's a like very deliberately punishing game dad is dad hostile he asks his therapist okay dad is hostile okay and then mum. All right. Mum and dad are dead. Crying emoji. Yeah, I'm not sure how w one would sneak. I wonder, like, are there controls that I'm missing? Key bindings. Thrust. Oh, there is a jump. I've been trying to use the jump and it hasn't been working. Ego mode. That's, this is the one I, I care about. It's control. Toggle e ego mode. 
ego filter. Okay. So, um... How does ego mode work? It's not really letting me do it. I wonder if I missed something important. Oh, you're alive? All right. It might be that we we haven't gotten to the the main gimmick yet. We have what is that? What is this? No disc. What are you? Emu. No, 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 no. This can't be right. It's the wrong kind of emu. Well done for getting this far though. You'll have a lot more options once we get you the right kind of emu. What does that mean? Competency evaluation complete. Control plus alt. Right. I'm going to control alt you out of there. Sorry. No sensible alternative. <laughs> okay, that's pretty good. Once upon an ego. Oh, you're here. That is uh, surprising, considering all the changes I made to you. Why am I typing? Loading, say, okay, better. Is this thing on? If you're hearing me, then it means your ego has been commuted successfully into this cat. With zero errors and only one warning, by the way. It may take a moment to acclimatize to being a bodiless ego, but try not to worry too much. Now, you should be able to verify that I calibrated your eye to behave somewhat like a 1990s mouse device. Okay. I've also installed your eye with an ego discovery mode. To engage it, pretend to hold down your virtual 1990s control key. You should be able to find an ego sensor emission on that other cat. Yes, do you see it? It would appear you're configured correctly. Apart from that one warning, but I think it's safe to ignore it. You can take control of that other cat. Hold control. Okay, yeah, so this is this is the main gimmick of the game is you can your your Ego you can transfer to other robots other bodies and other terminals as well Okay. Oh, that's that was fun. It's me. I, I'm over here in, in, in the cat. I hope you can hear me all right. Look, use ego mode to find the tab module while I try to open access for you to this cat. Uh, tab tasks. I ego get emu. Pick up tab, read this, tab through all your tabs. Thank you for choosing the con- oh wait, that's... Meta. Meta info will appear here to help guide you through control all ego simulated immersive experience. Control cat. Sensor offline, husk. Revive with an emerge energy bearing bot. The release notes say the tab module is user friendly, intuitive, and self explanatory. So good luck. This then is what a god looks like from the inside. 
I expect you can see a visual representation of the consciousness control stream. Parasite. That weird thing floating around insidiously. That's a parasite. I believe it's feeding on the consciousness stream. And I don't know how or why, but it's taking control of this sector. And the worst part is, I really have no idea where it came from or how it got here. As far as I'm concerned, it's theoretically impossible. And that's why I need you, you see, to help me clean up this mess, to take back control. Okay. Fair enough. Uh, get out of God. Already installed, controlled. Sensor offline, stack overflow. Controlled. Cat. Oh. Sorry, I shouldn't have. I d didn't want to interrupt the dialogue, but I guess I did. I figured his voice would follow me, but it, d it doesn't. So we're a door right now. We just opened ourselves. I sense there's a little bug in the vicinity. So now we're back in uh, what was our kind of regular body. Feeling nauseous. There is a there is a tab here. I'm sure this is going to give some people some motion sickness. Um, adjust ego mode effect intensity. I might do that right now because I, I would like other people to appreciate this game or enjoy this game. Um, more. Flashing lights. No flashing lights, please. Let's do 30% ego mode effect, uh, effect intensity. I don't mind the bloom. Bloom is fine. Uh, the bloom is actually a little bit... Uh, even for me, it's a bit much. Okay, that's a bit better. I mean, it's still quite intense, but... Dr. Everyman. So we can, we can move into this. Allow me to introduce myself. Find batteries to charge up your bug. Find and control the lifesaver. Yeah, let's do that. Oh, this lets you save the game. I I do appreciate when a game's got a um, kind of an in-game uh, explanation or justification for saving. That's pretty fun. I like that. So we got a battery here. I don't think we have a gun yet. Egonomics. Egonomics and bug-free zone. So we're going to have to control the door and open ourselves. Uh, I'm wondering if we can take control of some of these things. We've got a tool here. I can't jump. Can I grab this off the roof? Off the off the roof, off the box. Prologue, once upon an ego. So we're in a different zone here. So is this, a, I wonder if this is a complete sandbox. What I mean by that is sometimes a game feels like a sandbox, but it's not. You just con collected an ego fragment, our residue from previous control events. Oh, 
Oh, 1.1. Ah. For example, the security door has a bigger ego than you, which means we all need to save up that much ego to control it. Okay. Economics. I I really appreciate the vibe of this game. Like it's it's trying a lot of um different experimental things and, and I have to really appreciate the heck out of that. Um can we open this door? Yeah, we can open this door. I like how the perspective in this game is, is really fun. Got to be careful not to run into anything. What is this? User friendly. Well, we can hop into it. Do we get more ego by... Yeah, okay, so we get more ego by hopping into things. So once we hopped into it, we've we've gained a little bit of ego. What, what was that thing anyway? Test unit. Can we test something? And then we got an oscilloscope. Oh man, I'm gonna be so disappointed if we can't at least oscillo. Am I am I doing it? Am I oscilloing? I don't think I am. I I'm not oscilloing. Dang. So our ego's at 3.3 .3 now. Tall ether canister. We can uh, jump in this like just ahead. Well, that's not right. We're not where we're supposed to be. What? Oh, I see our eyeball was in the nut. Oh, that's really funny. Even though our, we were inside the head, the only thing active was the, the eyeball. That's really cool. Um, can we... We can't open this door. There's no ego. Can't open this door either. Uh, let's save. Okay, we should be able to open this door now. Hold control. What? Oh, I see. Ah, uh, we spend ego. We also spend ego. So I had to spend three ego to open this thing up. No disk drive to juice up. Bug-free zone. Health and safety advisory. Access the, to the bug-free zone is strictly verboten to all bug units. All bug access violations inside the bug-free zone are to be expunged immediately. It's a good word, verboten. So we're going to have to maybe do this part stealthily. I can take control of that. It costs me two ego. There's another thing there though. What is that? I don't know what that is. Sensor offline. Bug trap. Sensor offline. Boot required. Find a way to bring it online. Okay. Ego cost. This thing is dad base. Okay, we've got we've got interesting things going on here. I need to turn things on. Oh, we've got some a point. There's a lot of points that I don't seem to be able to grab. I have to assume I, I need to find something smaller. Keep an eye on your tab. Um, ego economy, stupid. Hurry, a hop recommended. In ego mode, hold, hold uh, something to hop faster. Okay, enter the bug-free zone. Check your insights. Uh, I mean, it's clearly a trap, but this is only the prologue. There's no way to avoid it. Perhaps Doctor Everyman wants to show me something important. 
Every man wants me to exploit bugs and grow my ego in order to deal with the, the parasite. Interesting uh, that our, our, like, we, we don't really have much agency, but we are, um, we are somewhat, uh, we, we seem to have an opinion. Our character has an opinion. Whatever, like, I don't know what we are, really. We are just a floating ego. Um, I don't know where the pup is. There's, there should be a pup somewhere. But I don't know where. Um, let me go back a bit. Maybe we can find one. This is where we came in. Can we use ladders? No. I'm kind of grateful for that, actually. We've already controlled that. So it'll tell you if you've already controlled something. We haven't controlled this, and in fact, this is the power switch. Enable power, uh, lift power. Power restored. We're not really getting anything um, for this. But it's, uh, we're, we're getting somewhere new. Oh, that's interesting. User-friendly ego gain on, con on control. So some of these things you're just they're just there for you to control so you can gain a bit of ego nothing nothing more than that T tape archive we have a computer can we confiscated items inventory ego tunes player bottom drawer can we open things up? We can. Oh, that's fun. Now we're uh, an Ego Tunes player. Gained a bit of Ego for that. We should have enough now. But I, I think I still need to turn on the um, I Spy. I think I need to turn on the power. Bug Free Zone. Offline, so we can't we can't do anything with that because it's offline. Uh, oh, there's something over there. Cat snap. Take photo selfie. Yeah. Bunch of points. What is that? Is that a cat? That must be the dev's cat. That's a that's a really charming looking cat. I appreciate that cat. Um, all right. Is there anything else we can do here? Who, who are you? I don't know. I'm not the robot. That's the, you know, that's the, that's the thing, right? Like the game is tricking you into think, well, you're a robot in this game. You're not a robot. You're piloting the robot like, like a mech, you know, you're just a floating consciousness. New meta, fall damage. Did we take some fall damage? Let's save. Still need to turn on the power somehow. Can we go in here? I should be able to take control of the sensor offline. Well, if the sensor's offline, I should be able to go through here without anything bad happening. BFC, do not attempt to move. Bug trap and something? Oh, bug trap active. 
Oh god. Oh Jesus. Okay. Well. Bug Zero was sterilized by Mr. Boss Man. <laughs> Control something to continue. Oh. Okay. Okay, I, I guess I was supposed to do that. We're in a little little tiny robot now. A little cute robot. Pup Scarpa is safe and won't be attacked so long as she doesn't cause too much bother. Huh. Mr. Boss Man Bother is at 1%. There, there's something really great about this. So I can jump in this. I can finally get some of these things around the corner here. Uh, find a way to boot up and control the cat. So we need to boot that up. How do we boot that up? We can jump now. Oh, okay. That thing is becoming bothered by us. We can't leave now. Interesting. Okay, we we gotta we gotta we have a lot of ego. We should be able to take over something. Here we go. No bug trap active. What does that mean? Offline bug trap active. Um, hmm. Mildly concerned by Pub Scarpa. Can't go around that thing. Wondering if we can control, uh, Mr. Boss Man. Doesn't seem like it. Contains bug zero. Brain contains ego net access key. Yeah, I'm not really sure what I'm meant to be doing. Hold on. Bug free. Find a way to boot up and control the cat. Check your insides. Cat. Perhaps the cat needs a good kick up the arse. Okay. I I think I get it. That's actually... These, these points over here were meant to... Um... Yeah. Get me to come over here. It needs a boot up the arse. Okay, that's, that's actually really funny. The door is open now. Offline, new meta offline sensors. All sensors may be offline for various reasons. In ego mode, offline sensors appear gray. You can't control an offline sensor. It must be, must first be brought online. A block sensor can be brought online by exposing it. It says eight unread. I come equipped with a state-of-the-art floppy disk drive and offer a safe, secure, physical data transfer capability. Oh, we wouldn't, we wouldn't want to neglect these points. Actually, there's some more points 
in the other room that I could get. I don't know what these points are for, but you know, like if there's points there, I, I want them. Can we climb ladders as a pup? Not really. Uh, I don't know. Um, I don't think I can grab those points. I'm not sure how I would anyway. Let's take some fall damage. Ouch. Okay, let's uh, let's go to launch control. This is a this is a concept with a lot of potential, and I'm I'm very interested in it. Oh, cool! Oh, nice. Now we can get through the, the that little area. Um, let's save. I'm so used to saving. Uh, Prey really put me in a save like trigger happy mode. Maybe for good reason, but still. Um, ego cost a control. So we can take control of this eagle, e evil eye. Space raise alarm. So what happens if we raise the alarm? Is it like, once we've taken control of it, are we good now? Uh, maybe not. We've taken control of dad. Experiment with dad's serializer to progress. Okay. Can't really make new holes in the fence. We can break this thing though. Space print mode. Oh, interesting. Fun, okay. We can't break this stuff. So this, I, I think this is just like a scope. So we can destroy that, but, um... Yeah, can we print it now? I guess if we destroy that, we should be able to print... Okay, so what we want to do is... Um... I guess we want to destroy the pup. Yeah. And we want to print them on the other side of this barrier. There we go. There's, there is something here to, t to gain control of, though. I don't know what we are. Okay. So we should be good now. Yeah, we're, we're good. Battery, what is this? Test unit, just some free ego basically. What I learned today, ego helps me control stuff. Tab is my friend. Death is not the end. Pups are small and safe-ish. Dad can teleport stuff around. We bugs. There's a bug box near here, presumably with a bug inside it. I see that like I don't remember arranging to have it boxed up there waiting for you. I see your pup has a disc. That's no coincidence either. If you unbox the bug and give it the disc, the bug can install the disc program and gain additional functionality. Which I think might be important. This should be a lot less harrowing than what happened to you back there. Sorry about that, by the way. I partly blame myself, partly. Okay. So, this is an interesting room. We've got a lot of options here. Um... I didn't think we... Okay, let's let's go up this ladder. 
I assume this is an option. Yep. Sometimes I am sideways. Sometimes you do be sideways in this game a little bit. Oh. Pop Scarpa doesn't like juice. Oh no. I guess, so I can't go up. Oh, I can't go up that thing as a uh, as Pup Scarpa. I need to be a bug, I guess. Pup uh, Pup's mobility is in some ways better and in some ways worse than bu uh, the bugs. Can kind of squeeze through there. This is this is really cool. I love the idea of like you can become these small things. So what is that? Matey boy secured. Space control plus space to toggle auto mode. What does that mean? Oh. Uh, auto mode. Not sure. I'm not sure what auto mode is. Is what? What? What are we doing here? Hide sensor. I see. Enter hot pulp escarpa. So I guess like you can um, filter just the stuff that you want to see. So if I just want to see, for instance, the save. Um. I don't. Uh, hmm. I don't know. It's a. I think it's an accessibility um, option, which I, I do appreciate, but I don't fully understand yet. I don't know what this guy does. Oh, he has a. He has a tool. Can he move? He can't seem to move. Is the problem? Okay. Let's. Uh, oh, sensor offline. We need to boot up that cat. Doesn't look like I can. Oh, is this, uh, no, there's an, ooh, bug trap, unarmed, space, arm. What do you mean, armed? Control space, detonate. I don't want to hurt my, uh, my pup here, so let me do this from farther away. What 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 are we uh, about to do here? Interesting. I just like blew myself up. All right. Okay, I think I I need to find my bug, and it's telling me where the bug is, and I'm just kind of ignoring it. But uh, that's honestly because I just like exploring. This uh, this game is is great for exploration. Oh god! I don't want to uh, come in, uh, you know, come into contact with that dad. I unlocked it. Oh, I have to... Oh, I see. I have to unlock both of those. Not just the one. It looks like I might have to go and grab the dad. Oh, there's a dad right here. Oh, he's he's, he's dead, though. What is this? I got an iPad. Conscious robot services health and safety missive. Dear customer, the transmission sub subsystem of your new bug is designed to consume... Ether electricity, uh, electric, uh, electric fluids. The famous Just Just Juice snack products are examples of the ether electro... I don't know. Are widely available. We'd like to take the opportunity to wish you every good fortune with your new bug. Regardance from the Conscious Robot Services custom customer relations team. Um, Alright. Going up things as a pup is challenging. <clears throat> Sorry. Is that an ant farm? So 
Something kind of gross. Uh, I think I do need that dad. Oh, we fell. Okay, so I'm gonna take control of this dad. You can't really, you can't move as a dad, you know? And uh, this is actually not really what I want. Because I, I want, I want to be like, get this in a position. Can I push this? Am I pushing it right now? I am kind of, but this is going to take forever. Maybe I can just jump and hit that button. Oh, oh my god. Okay. So we got our, we got our bug back. Unsafe. We don't have enough juice. We don't have the juice. Uh, we need that grab, take upgrade. Program ready to install. H, ho open tab, host page. It's not rocket surgery. Install disk. Okay, program select. Gift of flight. Unused disks one. Okay, so we can actually like pick upgrades. Oh, this is, this is getting very interesting. Aeronautics, float thrust, and ultimately rocket around can be upgraded to turn your bug into a speeding bullet, dealing stun and or physical damage. Um, do all of these not installed, not installed, not installed. Top recommendations for new bugs. Highly recommended for new bugs. Telescopic drill attachment whose primary function is to break bad bots into broken bits. Makes an awful lot of noise. Make stuff go wrong. Introduce faults to turn things into ethermat uh, math mathically oh, mathematically unstable bombs. Ether kin kinematic coil that can shift heavy objects at range <clears throat> to wherever you aim. On de demand uh, deserialization. Download your bug to any in-range line of sight position. Glitch. Emulates the projection of an implosion software glitch. It's a grenade. Oh. Ego sucker. Launch ego from unfriendly hosts. Or leech ego. Ideal for control freaks and egomaniacs. Uh, harness the second law of ethermatics to get around unseen. Interaction with the simulation is initially constrained, but can be enhanced by upgrading. Recommended for sneaky bugs. Oh, that's really cool. Kind of want to try that, but I, I think we're we're gonna take um, aeronautics for our first one, obviously. Really, yes. Um, flight provides thrust and rocket dynamics. A well-warmed rocket increases speed and range. Drinks a moderate amount of juice. Available worms zero, so we can upgrade things for worms with worms. We have zero worms. We need a worm. We got the worms. We are eating quite a bit of juice by doing this. There's a battery up here I'd like to grab. Okay. Oh, that's that's health. Battery is health, not juice. What is this? Can I grab this from up there? Nice. What is this thing? Printer. Prints bugs. Could I have printed a bug? I could have printed a bug, I think. Oh, unless I just printed... I think I just printed myself. So is that like a respawn? If I'm like... If I like die within range, we gain, gain a little bit of ego for this. What does this say? Help you acclimatize your new level of freedom as a qualified ego. We would like to assure you that there are multiple routes. There are different ways of doing things. There's no right way. There's no wrong way. You're extraordinarily unlikely to get stuck. 
You can make a mess and that's fine. If you find yourself thinking this feels like it wasn't intended, then cease thinking that immediately anything you can do was and is fully intended. I really appreciate that. Um, you know, like, I think that, um, you know, I've been, I've been, uh, using a term a lot with me and my friends, um, which is gamer brain. I think that, uh, I think you can get kind of stuck in gamer brain, which is like, how, how are things meant to be done, you know? And I think it's, uh, it's largely detrimental because it can, it can stop you from, you know, like g us gamers, huh? Trademark. Um, we, we don't really like making mistakes. I feel like, um, there's come a point where people who, you know, play games a lot really just like want to do everything optimally, want you to play optimally, like want you to do all of the things correctly. And it's like, yeah, I mean, first of all, you know, obviously we're human and we're going to make mistakes. Um, but like, also, I think making mistakes is fun. Thank you for your letter dated a uh, 22980. We are very sorry to hear you are not overly impressed by the aeronautics bug program. Before acceding to your refund request, please ensure you have tried the following remedial steps. Do you have sufficient juice showing up in your emu juice gauge? We recommend you maintain at least one full bar. Of juice at all times have you tried worm hacking the disc if you have apologies your warranty has already been invalidated have you tried switching your bug off and on again best possible regardance uh from the conscious robot serv uh, services customer relations team hey there's some cameras up there free cameras oh this would have uh, given me a nice little matter what do these matter guys do home hop bug Pup only. So I need to get a pup up top here. I can't... I guess I have more juice now. I should be able to fly... But I can't really fly all that much. I don't really have a lot of flight. Ugh. There we go. We got the juice. I put butter on it and changed my life. I wonder if we can, like, fly up ladders. Yeah, that's kind of... Feels like kind of what this is for. Mm, maybe not. I guess you have a, a certain amount of height to your flight above the ground. Over or under. Let's, uh, let's blow up this head. Oh, we need... We need to use up the ego. Um, this, no, not disarm. Detonate. There's something, like, kind of disturbing about that. What? What are we doing? That, that guy was doing something. It was kind of odd. Um, hmm. So I have the cat. Do, do, can we do this yet? There we go. We need, uh, we need a, some kind of gamer, uh, you know, way of, of, you know, figuring out, like, what is this upgrade point? We need, we, we, we need upgrade points. Um, so what are the upgrades points going to be called? Well, um, let's just call them worms. Why worms? It definitely feels like a, uh, like some kind of weird red dwarf joke. Like, why, why worms? Uh, you know, they're, they're wiggly. Well, that does not answer my question at all. In the light of your recent complaint, we have been monitoring your bug usage. We were somewhat aghast to see you still using 
the Ego inefficient legacy lift installations in and around the launch site warehouse facility. With your bug aeronautics program, you should most certainly be on the lookout for opportunities to conserve Ego. While it is not our place to mandate super Ego efficient working practices, we do hope you will bear this feedback in mind. This message brought to you by the CRS Economic Egonomic Department. That is, I think, the game's subtle way of telling me, you spent ego to use the lift? That was five ego. My dude, you could have solved this in other ways. Oh, yeah, it is an actual worm. Worm hack. So, um, we can use a worm to upgrade our flight. What is stun? Hostiles by rocketing in. Oh, you can stun hostiles by rocketing into them. Longer run-ups work best. Fire yourself like a bullet. Try it against hostiles and obstacles. Longer run-ups work best. Uh, fly around freely, no height restriction. Ready to worm. Let's do that. And uh, I mean, at this point, uh, like this, this is pretty much the point where I'm like, I, I feel like that is. I won't say the intended course, but I think clearly there is an intended kind of like way to start learning, um, which is like, yeah, you know, probably the player is most likely going to be interested in flying. You know, I, I, I think it's fair to say that. I think it's fair to say that, you know, the, the user is going to be interested in flying. So let's, let's get them started with flying. That teaches us about worms. That teaches us about ego and it gets us there. Uh, oh, that was locked from within we probably need our pup um can we where is that okay oh you can take control of things like from very far away you don't actually have to uh you don't you don't have to have like line of sight at all which is kind of nice that definitely makes the game feel a little bit uh slicker you know what is that? Push off. I need to maybe move those things. Let's um let's spend one point and, and create a dad. And then we're gonna have to spend two points to take control of the dad. That's fine. Like I I just like wanna experiment. Okay, and then we are going to... It's actually quite difficult to control the dad. We're going to jump in there with our pup. Or not. Interesting. We need to, uh, we need to put something in place there. Can't, it can't be that. What about this? Long items. No, that's a full thing like that. Uh, I need okay. One of those. One of those plastic supply crates should be good. No, it's actually taller. Hmm. Could be another situation. Can I like take the door off? No. Okay, I guess we could put the pup in there. There we go. I didn't mean to do that, actually. But I guess now we can unlock the door, which is the important part. And then uh, we'll jump back into our bug. Fun. I, I, I like that. That was a fun little puzzle. What is this? Reset bot. Luggage bot? Huh? Oh, is this like another method of getting up there without using the lift? There were there were several ways of um, getting in here without using the lift. I guess as soon as I um, got rid of that container, I could have just gotten in here as the bug. So that was that was a bit of a loss. Well, you know what? I'm glad I got to I, I discovered the other methods, even if I didn't use the other methods. 
feel like there's something behind here as well. Is there something I can do here? Heavy. Okay, you know what? Look, now that we've taken, uh, you spent the ego, why don't we do things right? There we go. We can grab these. I'm actually very um, invested in the story. It's, it's really cool. I, I, I've always been super interested in the... Um, there's fun stuff going on here, I have to say. Uh, in the idea of, like, um, AI and, like, consciousness being um, replicated. AI, uh, it's got a bad word. The, it's kind of a bad word these days, isn't it? But, like... You know, I, I'm still, like, really interested in it, and I think that it's a really cool idea in terms of, like, um, subject matter for, for a game. And this is a really cool... This is really cool, because it's, like, they've taken the idea of, like, AI and uh, consciousness and actually made it a, a mechanic. Um, one of my favorite games was Talos Principle, which has a really, really cool storyline that really delves into these concepts, but doesn't really use those concepts in its gameplay it's just kind of a, a little puzzly game that doesn't really make much use of it um but i still really like that game so the the fact that this game is taking the idea and then actually running with it as a mechanic um is just like really cool use performance monitors to facilitate advanced self-worth self-worth analysis each stat is scoop, scoped to the current loaded area. In all cases, zero is the best score. Ego, amount of fr friendly ego remaining doesn't include ego fragments, too volatile. Uh, worms, number of uncollected worms, number of uncollected discs, number of times your unique ego signature has been detected. See meta. On a, okay, so that's like the stealth score. Active agents, um, number of enemies remaining. Broken bots, number of bots that have been broken into bits. See Meta Pacifist for more information. So what are we at? Unutilized resources. So there's 14 e Ego hanging around in the launch control. Um, activity monitor. Active agents 2. Broken bots 0. Campaign accumulated total. So there's there's quite a bit of stuff left to do here. I do, I like the use of that, like, contrast and FOV. It's going to make some people sick, but I, I appreciate what it's there to kind of signify. So there's another worm. Oh, we could um, sensor offline. What about that? Oh, uh, magnetic reel. Okay, let's take control of this. Can we do something here? Oh, we can just jump in here now. And then we can... We should be able to print... Our, ourselves. So it seems like we die. It's kind of like a, a very cheap teleportation... Mechanic. But now we're in here and we can grab our worm. Yeah. No, this game is really cool. Um, I, I love... It's like super charming. It's, it's style and it's a... Uh, like, I, I haven't really said much about it, but the, the voice acting is really solid. The story is, like, super compelling, and I, I just love pretty much everything about this. So, um, yeah, I, I will definitely be doing a full playthrough of this game on my stream, but I wanted to do proper coverage of it. 
Um, I know it's a it's a long one, but I you know I'm doing these longer videos now um, because I like I think it gets a truer, more kind of genuine um, impression of like how I feel about like my I, I hate to say it reaction to the game, but like you know I, I think that it, it is a little bit more genuine than me kind of cutting things down, and I don't think that really does much for me. Like if you're gonna skip through the video, you were gonna do that anyway, so. I'd rather you enjoy um, like you know my full impressions of the game rather than me kind of shortcutting for you. Um, but I don't know. You can always let me know in the comments what you prefer. But either way, this was Control Alt Ego, and I really like this game, and I'm looking forward to playing more of it on stream. Um, I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, hit that like button and consider subscribing for more content like this. I'll see you guys next time. Take it easy.